As the story goes, there was a French man who took to wife the daughter of a weaver. The man himself was a shepherd by trade. Besides his sheep and their pure love for one another, they had nothing and were poor. However, they did have an unending supply of sheep's wool, and with the woman's skill as a weaver, they began to produce woven cloth from the wool. The woman thought of her husband as she wove. She wove a white cloth that possessed the remarkable property of retaining heat while also repelling water. They say that every cloth she wove was a symbol of the love that she felt for her husband, its warmth and protection. It was suggested to her at one point that she dye the wool so that it would not show dirt so easily when it became soiled. Her simple question and reply was this. How would one know when it needed to be clean if one cannot see the dirt? Secretly, though, she felt it would be a betrayal to the symbol of her heart's deepest vows and affections, and so she chose only to weave in white. In time, the circumstances of the industrious shepherd and his wife changed. Their finely woven white cloth became a common item throughout France. It stood as a symbol of purity and complete devotion to one's spouse. The French would call it blanche, take it from the root word blanc, which means white or pure. It wasn't long after that the English began producing their own finely woven cloth of many different colors, and being unaware of the truer meaning of the word, chose to also call their cloth by the anglicized version of the same name, blanket.